basically I was approached by G2 some time ago wanting to build the Dota team and the Dota team in China. And uh, naturally I know a lot of people there and in the scene. And so for some time it's been to talk to kind of different organizations, uh, figure out what G2 wants, what's a good fit to work together. And also talk to some of the players to try to help build like a roster and a team that we believe in. And uh, that's how we settled on this organization, obviously Invictus Gaming, a story history and ultimately this roster. To represent a new G2 IG, I feel I'm really honored to be part of the team because I didn't thought that I had the opportunity to play with so many like superstars in the team. Yeah, but I'm glad to be here. We are all from many different teams and we have been in the scene for a very long time. So I think it's easier for us to click together and also be on the same page. Our biggest rank of team, we got three Malaysian. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Our team atmosphere is kind of okay because everyone speaks Chinese and then it feels like more comfortable so the atmosphere is kind of relaxed as well. And our players is kind of kind of friendly, good talking, yeah. Playing in Kuala Lumpur is really great, especially for me because it's my home ground. It's really hard and rarely to get this opportunity to play in your home country. And also, maybe there's not much pressure on us since we just started to play together. It's more on the learning progress and also how we adapt to it. Our team confidence, I feel like everyone confident, yeah. Because I don't feel like everyone feeling pressure or, uh, or what. It's not a problem for us to play in this tournament. We played a lot of domestic competition recently, but not that much international competition with this roster. So it's just very different when you walk into this type of environment and it's like, you're really being put to test against the best in the world. <笑>你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你看了吗你
The Wrath of Nature coming in, Emo, he's actually the one being hunted down. Sprout out as well, Emo still running, but in comes JT with the wolf form oh, and God. just the wolves chasing him down. Emo, just get the hell out of there, sir. It is just not safe. He will continue to run, but the chase continues. He is surrounded. Emo is gone. Why use file? He will slowly follow as JT finishes off that kill, but nothing to say. Still on the chase with the slana, just waiting for the blitz to come up, oh, and there no. it is. Nothing to say. He'll find two of them. Mew is down. Why you smile trying to help just gets annihilated by Monet. You heard it here first, first, folks. Don't pick garbage heroes. As I wish you guys the best of luck moving forward in the tournament. Thank you for joining me on this interview. Let's send it back to the panel. I think we got better prepared uh, compared to LGD, so we get the one. Yeah, and we win against them. Over towards the Phoenix, catch it next over, but it's not enough burst. Mone going straight for the back lines as they look to chase down Nisha. Nothing to say, popping the BKB in an effort to chase this leader down even further. Mone finishes him off. They brought down Nisha. See if they can get anything more. They take out Insania then, looking over towards Mikke now. JT and Mone continue to chase Mikke away from the action. Tries for a TP, but JT jumps in, gets the cancel onto the TP. They'll be able to take down Mikke. Triple kill for Mone. JT is heading in, looking for the grab, he's having the jump forward, gets the RP onto the two oh, of them, skewers them back into the oh ice blast, the buybacks will come out straight away from Sable and Nisha, and Nisha and Mikke, but can they really fight back against this? They'll take out nothing to say, but Mone pops the, the Phantasm, the RP's there, get onto the two, and the beautiful catches from JT, he gets the two cores. As that Sable and Mikke out for good, no buybacks of course available from either of them, and them still on cooldown. Liquid, they just got to get out of it and they're not even going to get to do that. I think against Liquid was quite hectic as well. It wasn't like one-sided to any team. We actually played more discipline compared to the previous series. So I'm glad that we actually made it through. Barely survives. Nothing to say he's going to go for a bit of a chase. He's got the Echo Slam available now. Snake gets caught out and there's your Echo committed. Nothing to say, not wasting any time. But now the turnaround, Maureen, oh. he'll find nothing to say, but it does cost his own life. Crit in the meantime, also getting charged by JT, so you're gonna find a third target. <laughs> Xnova does get caught, and they've got committed, somehow still making it up for now as JT. He charges right in, the Spirit Breaker, what a giga chat, he'll cop the doom, but he's just TPing out. JT, he's fine, Mane, he's the one to jump back in, Crit is gone, Maureen, he's not looking safe either. A lot of commitment out. <laughs> You mentioned yesterday, you know, that JT was a little bit of a madman just charging in. He wanted revenge here. The guy's very singularly focused. Doesn't find that Ange doesn't have RP. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get the nice cliff, though. This is a rather unfortunate situation for ATF. JT. Oh, <laughs> JT! JT! You know what? The supports don't have a start. This, this is the losing play, though, for G2. JT? JT? <laughs> J what do you mean? What's happening? JT! JT, <laughs> What do you mean, JT? <laughs> yeah, the Falcon series, it was late night Dota, but that's ultimately what it came down to. I think it was just two like very highly skilled teams kind of jockeying for position. And we had the JT uh, Magnus, they like got killed top or something. He got mad and he like slammed his mouse, but you know, he recovered. He was really big in that series and you just saw he was having so much fun and just laughing and you know, gotta have a good time out there too. So it helps a lot. <laughs> <笑>好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了好了
，对啊，对啊，是分开嘛，就是你你你,你内裤，等下跟他打在一起，你看，等下他不能换。你放一起，你怎么区分的看谁是谁的呢？分开了，分开，分开，分开了，本来不说了就放一起了，不可能，一不说就放一起了，方便又简单了。我有数据，你有数据，我还没，我还没数据啊，杰哥确实有数据。Playing against Night Pandas, we knew that we need at least one point to add. To secure us to the winner bracket for the first game, I can still feel the pressure around the team. The flattery just trying to slow him up. There's going to be the blink, the spear into the wall. It might be nothing to say. He goes down. No, it gets a nice Ooh. save, and there's a big chrono. In comes V2 on the backside. Does Beacon's get the hit. kill, but yeah, Zeus is gone, and now an orchid will help finish off. This Phantom Assassin solo just hobbling away. The spear trying to push JT away. The shackles will not save you, my friend. Looking for something. It is a 2v4. Does he do it? This guy, he's been playing spicy. Oh my gosh, X Nova guesses and gets him. No way. Yeah, but you don't have to play with me, you should play with me. Hey! You hit me, what do you mean? I said, what do you mean? I didn't hear anyone say anything. Hey! 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 The final vibes. I think so in the spray breaker. I mean, the chain stun is there. Oh my gosh, the counter ink spell from X Nova. He keeps him alive. NTS back to complete full HP. And oh boy, that is a, uh, a meat grinder there in terms of damage. They just get completely slaughtered. Everybody on Nine Pandas force back into the fountain as uh, G2IG here to celebrate with the team shower in the enemy team in the face. During the group stage, I think. It went well first. I didn't expect that. I hope that we can keep improving still, no matter what. Wow. What is that? One v one tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> we want to share. Let's yeah, share how. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want. To I, 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 I eat. I eat this shit. We can do it. Yeah. 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 对，无限多兵啊！我操！我操！我操！这波！我操！完美！我操！完美！是什么规矩？两水就补刀。打不了吧？反正也太烂了。杰哥他懂了，杰哥他懂了。杰哥，杰哥，看来看来你经常被打回家了。这回家套路已经很熟熟练了。我把人打回家，突然脸上冒了个人，你懂吗？喂！喂！喂！喂！喂！喂！喂！喂！一血就没了。妈的，干他！太牛逼了！他是你好兄弟，对不对？他是不是你好兄弟？你们在一起好多年了。QC， 这个是谁的弟弟？他。你他是你弟弟？好兄弟。哦。Gaming ladder still in a good spot. Let's see. Meepo has been found. Yeah, this would be a really good move. Try to blow him up with that move. Toku, pulverize him, but... Mega Meepo. Mega Meepo. He can't be touched He's now, underneath can he? the ground. He's underground, and then comes nothing to say. Blows up Tofu, aims for Ace. Primal Beast in trouble, trying to remove themselves from this fight. But Gaming Gladiators can do nothing but stand and battle into this Meepo, and they will die for... Right in front of the noses of Gaming Gladiators. And JT, the first point of contact, Earth advised, and the Echo, straight on the gyro. And look at these impetus shots. Boboka shreds him. They've got a pulverize there, but Ace is stuck all alone. Quinn will try to come in and help. JT, nothing to say. Drop oh, the gets, gets the Mega Meepo. He's out of there. No, 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 Quinn. You can win 1v1s, but you're not in a 1v1. This is like a 9 versus 1. There's like five Meepos. Yeah, 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 no, 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 没走，走走走，我感觉能杀一个人了嘛？就是，但是我一跳过去的时候，我犹豫了一下嘛，我就犹豫了。我犹豫了一下，所以就没按出来了。我就，哎，又想又想走了，那时候。然后我看，看，哎，你跳过去，哎，那我跟一下。然后不行，又是海外。但我感觉那波丽娜会死，如果我换个丽娜，我感觉还是赚的。我也会死。你能带伤吗？应该能。他们两个还被我控制，应该能杀丽娜。The Drudge is still chasing here. They got the stun on Monet. 
He doesn't have TP for seven seconds, but somehow he's tucked himself in the trees and hidden. Nothing to say TP'd out of there, so they trade Meepo for Pango. Not bad for G2IG. During the match versus GG, I actually f***ed up. I insist to play Meepo on game two. We lost that game. Yeah, I mean, I f***ed up. That's all I can say. Losing a lot of her HP very quickly to the move from G2IG. There it is, like you've been calling for, the action in that bottom lane from the Centaur and this Muerta. Took them long enough because JT up, oh, they're going in again. Another dead shot, might be a Ooh. double kill. Hell yeah. Papoka steps up, pierces the veil, gets X marked and boated though. And Quinn with a blade mail, BKB. Nothing to say, tries the blink echo, but doesn't get anything done at all. GG called. The road to the lower bracket. I think we actually learned a big lesson from gaming gladiators. I'm actually glad that we played against them, that we are able to figure it out now better than later. So it just all depends on us for the rest of the games. Going into lower bracket, no matter what upper bracket or lower bracket, you, you still have to, if you want to win, you still have to keep going no, no matter what. For my team, I think we have a chance to go further. If we play our own style, no, don't care about other things. I think everyone is kind of chill. Every day we keep discuss, keep talking. I think it's, it's a way to release pressure also. I'm kind of excited to play in Malaysia Kuala Lumpur because it's my hometown. I think we will be a lot of Malaysian keep supporting us because we got three Malaysian in the team. So I can't be waiting for this. Please welcome the stage, G Two I G. I think I like our chances. You don't win the group by accident. I think we're a pretty strong team overall. I like our chances against pretty much everybody. And also, I think you know, just this patch coming mid term is always like a big wild card. I hope that we are prepared for that. bit more intelligent steel. Oh, if you start getting the insteel, it does feel nice. Uh-oh, bed boom, and they missed uh, ready to get the cell fuels. Oh god, he's gonna wait <laughs> for it. Why not? Okay, G2IG just back out. Still want to be playing underneath their ward. Oh, they go back kill out. now, and they sure they get it. BKB activated, go by nothing he's to say. He puts himself in the corner and TP's out. Monet with the Scotty. Oh, nice dead shot, though. He was throwing to some of these. It's a super concerning game for G2IG because frankly, you just can't win a Dota game in this era of Dota without winning some team fights. So the match against Bedbloom, I think it was a combination of things. I think uh, we weren't happy with the drafts that we got. You could see that we kind of adjust a little bit after game one. And also, we did not play well the series, but that's how it goes. You know, we got to step up when it counts and we couldn't get it done. I'm uh, playing from the crowd here. I think it was nice. I think you saw, um, you know, the Malaysian players like the only one of them is sort of grew up or is from directly from KL, but two of them are not from are from not that far from here. So it was nice for them to, you know, hometown fans. You saw during the signing session, like just overflowing with fans and they stayed an extra half an hour just to sign. So I think it definitely meant something extra. It definitely helped them. You know, it, it sometimes playing in front of the home crowd, it definitely adds a bit of pressure and expectations as well, but that's that just comes with the territory. I think you kind of just kind of have to accept that and be able to deal with it. So I think it was nice. I think they, you know, they appreciate opportunities like that. We have so many things that we can work on and directly or immediately improve or just have a better process for. And so, you know, I'm confident that we should only get better and stronger as the season goes on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, 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 please. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Thank you, 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 I would like to thank you to all the fans that have been supporting us and keep continue supporting us until next year and the year after. Thanks for everyone keep supporting us and I wish everyone all the best.